Ashley, you went to York? Where are you going to college? I'm going to Macaulay Honors College at Hunter College. How much are you paying? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. She's in full scholarship at Macaulay. Everyone round of applause for Ashley. We want to be you. She's also getting a Mac computer free, and she's getting a four-year full ride, and they're paying for her graduate uh, test prep courses if she decides to take them, and they're giving her two years of free Manhattan dorm. It used to be four from Budget Cuts, now it's two. Um, Tim, where are you going to college? I'm going to Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And what was your SAT score, Tim? Uh, 2380. Good. And you graduated as the? Valedictorian. The valedictorian of York. We are so proud of you. That is awesome. All right, so we want to know about your experiences. Um, first of all, we know that there is an admissions exam, which you guys all have the Q&A for York, how to get into a specialized high school. Let's go over the logistics. What are some things you loved about the school? Okay, personally, for me, uh, one of the biggest things I loved about my school was that its size. I know this has been repeated uh, before, but our school is really small, only 400 kids. You like the small school setting. Yeah, I, I love the fact that it's small and it kind of fosters a tight-knit community so that you know everyone in your grade and you know everyone in other grades as well. So it feels really great when you walk down the, hot, uh, the hallway. How big is the school? It's, um, it's on a college campus, but we take up one floor of the college building. Our graduating class is only 96 kids big. Were you intimidated? Were you nervous being around college students while you were? Or were you, did you see them? Barely. No. So I wasn't okay. intimidated at all. Great. So those are some things that you loved about the school. Ashley, how about you? What are some things that you enjoyed about the school? Um, well, the size, like Tim said, and you get to use the college facilities, which are really nice. Like for lunch, you can go to the college campus and have lunch there. You can eat, you know, the college food. You can buy stuff. And you also get access to the college library, which is really nice because it's big. That is great. All right. What are some things that you wish were different about the school? Wish were different. Uh, I wish we actually had a bigger budget because it, it allows us to get more programs, more sports teams, more more teachers, possibly even a bigger school. And that's something that it, that we've always wanted in our school. All right. Anything else? Do you feel that you? What are some of the classes that you took at York? A lot of AP classes are offered, and one good thing about York is that they offer college courses, which give you college credits because it's on a college campus. So you can take classes with other college students, and then you get credit for it. When you Where are your friends going to college from York? Uh, one's going to Brown, another one's going to Columbia. Others are going to NYU, NYU Poly, uh, any others. Oh, I think one for UC Berkeley as well. Do you feel York is a very high level, high quality school? Yeah, definitely. After yeah. They tell them the ranks. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't even know that it, it exists, but it's actually ranked number seven in the state, number four in the city. It's a relatively new school, opening only in 2002, but since then it's gotten much, much better and it's becoming a lot more prestigious than it used to be. That's awesome. Do you guys have any questions you want to ask about York? Well, I know that you have a new principal maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. Zang is also in uh, Simonson. Yeah, she just left from our school she to Simonson. So the new principal is, I guess she's just as good, right? He, yeah. he, yeah. He's actually a really fantastic principal. He came from Francis Lewis, right? Yeah. The head of the science nice. department oh, okay. there. I love traveling to that school. It's really easy because it's in Jamaica Center, so you can always catch a bus. The E train. It's right next to Q30 like the bus. Station. Yeah. The neighborhood is rather than stuff that great. Yeah, the neighborhood that is one of the, the drawbacks. It's it's uh, the neighborhood isn't really the best, but there's police officers always. Yeah, they're around. always there. So you never had a problem all the four years. No, I never had a problem. Is the school itself on an open campus or is it enclosed? We have our own, we're on the science building. So you're in a separate building from yeah, the we're college. Yeah, separate building from the college campus. So yeah. But we still have access to the college facilities, like the library, the gym, uh, the cafeteria, and a whole bunch of other rooms in there too. Did you, did you ever feel intimidated by the college students? No, no. they don't even pay attention to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's great. Thank you so much. Round of applause. Hey, oh wait, almost hey, done. Sports. In sports, we have a boys swim team, a girls swim team. Those teams are like the best team in our school. They win like every year in second. Yeah. We also have a well, uh, intramural tennis team. We um, have handball. Handball. We have bowling. And bowling. And, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Yes. How uh, yeah. how how you helped you to have a scholarship for the college? I how think York really pushes you to do well because it's so small and it's really competitive and. Um, 
Yeah, they just they give you a lot of opportunities there. Like they're always telling you about scholarships and internships, and you always have something to do there. Yeah, I mean the, the workload they give you really prepares you for college, and the work that they give you, the classes that they offer you, really help you get into college. Where did you get in? What schools did you get into, Tim? Besides uh, MIT, where you're going? UC Berkeley, Cornell, Columbia, and UCLA. You went into UC Berkeley, Cornell, Columbia, UCLA, and MIT. Yes. That is awesome. That's amazing. Okay, that's great. So we're really excited. And what are your long-term plans? Uh, aerospace engineer. Good. Ashley, your long-term plans are to never leave Queller Prep. You can yeah. never leave. She's staying in New York. Round of applause, Ashley, staying in New York. Yay! Where do you go to school? Cornell University. Cornell University. And where did you go to high school? I graduated from Brooklyn Technical High School in 2011, so two years ago. Excellent. And how did you like Brooklyn Tech? I loved it. You did love it. That's great. Um, with regards to getting into Brooklyn Tech, give us the truth. What did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? And how was your commute? How was your travel to and from the school? Where do you live? I live in LIC. Long Island City, Queens. All right. Good. Um, so in terms of commute, it was very easy for to get there because they have a very close to Brooklyn and Patton. For those of you who live further out in Queens, it is more of a commute. Um, I got into Bronx Science and Brooklyn Tech. I chose Tech. A lot of the reason was the commute and I like the school better when I visited. Um, what I loved about the school is that it's the, I think it's the only specialized high school and very few of the kind where they have majors. So once you finish your sophomore year, you choose a major and you're in that major for your junior and senior year. I was a law and society major, so my classes were law-oriented, politics-oriented, um, international relations, things like that. Um, one of the things that I really liked as well is that might be a downside to some is that it's a huge school. It's the second largest high school in the country. Um, my graduating class was 1,200 students. I went to school with 5,000 other kids. And because of this, we have a lot of resources. We offer almost I think almost every single AP. We offer study abroad, which a lot of high schools don't. So where, where are the study abroad options? Um, France and Spain for languages. They have a China program for like top science kids in certain majors. Um, this really prepared me for school. I knew I was gonna go to a really big college. I didn't want to be in a small close environment, but that's up to, you know, the student. So when I got to college, nothing was intimidating, nothing was different. I was used to being around so many different types of people and meeting people all the time because my school... So once again, you felt your adjustment at a large high school helped you to get into yeah. a large university because I also had that experience. I went to Cardozo High School and I did enjoy being in a very large school. It helped me when I later went on to NYU. You meet people from different... It's not only people from Brooklyn, they're from all over the city. Um, and all, all different interests, like there's I think 12 different majors you can choose from, so you're always going to have friends in each one, even though the number seems daunting, like 5,000 kids, it doesn't seem that way, you seem like you know everyone in your grade. Um, and in your major especially, you're always going to get to out. I was in the largest major and I knew everybody in my major. What are some things that you loved about the loved hated? So, um, so that was one of the things I loved. I loved my major. Um, I thought it was really, it helped uh, taper my interest for college. And one of the things I hated is one drawback from going to such an economist school is that sometimes an administration can fall through. Um, but that has been changing. I went to, I graduated three, two years ago. So um, I have visited my pet in the past two years and they've had more guidance counselors. They're, you know, more organized than they used to be. So for kids, especially entering now or graduating now, things are a lot different. Um, and there's a new principal, there's new APs. A lot of the teachers I had became assistant principals and they were amazing. Um, and our law program, the major I was in, was recognized by Cornell, actually, where I go to school. So that was a nice thing, you know, having that background. Um, all right, so you go to Bronx High School of Science. What are the things you love about the school? Uh, I love a lot of things about the school. I love the diversity. There's a lot of new people that you'll meet who are really great. Like, I have the most amazing best friends in the world. Um, I like the teachers because the teachers show you that they really care, that they want you to do better and excel in all, the, in all your classes. Um, How many kids are at your school? Like 3,000 something. 3,000 something. So you have about a thousand a grade, roughly. Is that correct? Or? Yeah. I think, no, I think there's 700 in my grade right now. 
When you first got into the school, was it intimidating? Was it, how did you feel the faculty was? Uh, I thought they were really welcoming. Like, um, I felt welcome. I did not feel scared at all because they give you an option of going to summer school to take some classes, so I guess that's what helped me a lot. So you went the summer before you got into yeah. Bronx, you went to school. Yeah. For how long? Uh, during the summer, so it was like a month and a half. Did you prepare for, did you pay for these classes? No. Really. Okay, so when you get into Bronx, and when you get into Stuyvesant, they have something called Camp Sty before you get in. It helps you orient before you get into these um, specialized high schools, so you can get prepared. So keep that in mind as you plan your you know, vacation when you're, <laughs> child gets the lottery letter that he or she has gotten into these high schools. All right, great. So keep going. As you were saying? Uh, I also like all uh, the different types of classes that they give you. So if you want to feel challenged, so you have AP classes, honor classes, or if you don't, you'll just take the regular regions classes. That's great. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the Bronx High School of Science? How long does the orientation last, usually in the summertime, these ones that About just... six weeks. So do you study all the subjects, or what do you do during that orientation? No, they allow you to take uh, art, music, and health. So that way you don't have to take it during your junior year, and you can take other classes that you want to do. Oh, so you get credit. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So you get ninth grade, uh, coming in ninth grade credits. All right, any other questions for Bronx High School Science? I have a question. How do you go to Bronx? It's a lot, and how much money do you get? Uh, the traveling? Yeah, and how much money? Uh, that's something that I hate, the commute, because I hate public transportation, and even though I live in the Bronx, it still takes me an hour and a half she to comes get to, to from, from the Bronx. Bronx. I'm honored. Um, okay, but you are aware there's a bus, right, that can take you to the Bronx? Right, yeah, there's a bus. No, but you still I, don't like travel, you don't like the commute, period. Yeah. <laughs> Homework is about four hours, but in your junior year, they kind of, like, give you a bunch of term papers, and that really killed me this year. <laughs> just don't expect to sleep junior year. It just doesn't happen. So um, with what are some of the best parts of Bronx Science? Um, Bronx Science is known for producing Nobel Prize winners. It's one of the biggest accolades of the school. They have the highest percentage, I believe, in the whole country coming out of that school for Nobel Prize winners, which is amazing. Um, the school itself is absolutely beautiful. The open house is breathtaking experience. Really, really stunning. Um, you also have a younger sister who goes to Queller Prep. Yes. And where do you want her to go to high school? Bronx High School of Science. So that speaks volumes. Okay, thank you so much. Great. Oh, oh go ahead. So, I have another question.